Good morning, you're listening to FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Har. This morning I'm talking to A.J. Boyajian, who's with A.J. Rose Carpets outside of Boston. A.J., how you doing? Good. How are you, Kemp? I'm good. I know we were just together in Beaver Creek at the NFA meeting. We'll go into more detail on that in a minute. I'm reaching out to you because you're up there. You have two stores in the Boston area, and uh, obviously we know that things are a little bit different in Boston today, right? First and foremost, uh, our hearts go out to the victims and their families and all of those involved. Yeah, well, it's a terrible tragedy, especially for it to happen here on our soil. We hear about these things happening in Ireland and places like that, but we never think they're going to happen here. A couple quick questions to ask you about this. I guess things are pretty well shut down there still in the area. Yeah, around the area of where it happened, it, it is still shut down. They haven't said exactly how long, but we know that at least today, because it has their classifying it an active crime scene. Mm-hmm. So that part of the city, a lot of the roads are still shut, and uh, I'm not sure who they're letting around there. I know some of the subway stations are closed. So around there, certainly things are not back to normal by any means. Yeah. And you live about two miles from where this happened, is that right? Yeah, I live in Cambridge, um, right on the Boston border, so I live pretty close to there. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, relatively. Yeah, but your stores are out in the surrounding areas, right? Right. We have a store west of the city, about 15 miles in Natick, and then we have a store northwest in Burlington, mm-hmm. um, about another you know, maybe 15, 20 miles outside of the city. And I guess the news that you're getting there in Boston is very similar to what we're seeing nationally, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so just a little more background on your business. I know you joined the NFA about a year ago, the National Floor Carving Alliance, and your second generation, you and your brother have taken over the store. I guess your parents started the store, right? Right, that's exactly right. In 1977, they started it, and my brother and I now run the business. My parents are still around. My father is pretty much retired. He's still, you know, somewhat involved, but not involved in the day-to-day operations. And our mother still works just because she likes to. She likes to help out with the bookkeeping and everything. So she still works, you know, probably 30 hours a week. But my brother and I now run the day-to-day operations of the business. Okay. And, you know, the the name, I guess, is A.J. Rose, which is uh, your father's name and your mother's name together, right? Exactly. That's exactly right. My mother's Roseanne, and uh, our father is Andy, and his initials were A.J., like mine. So that's how they got it. All right, so the Boston Marathon is every year. Uh, just in normal circumstances, how does the marathon affect your business? Um, it doesn't really affect it too much other than well, one of our stores is in between the route of where it starts in Hoppington and ends in Boston. Mm-hmm. And one of our stores is kind of on the way town-wise. So some of the installations from that day, you know, you might have to just go a different route or just organize the, the day based off of where the marathon is. Certainly not going to do any installations around on the route or potentially even close to it, but the residents know that as well, so it's not like they'll try to schedule something during the marathon. But, I mean, it's generally a little bit disruptive, but minimally. We're used to it around here, so it's something that you just work around. So you don't try to do sales that are called, like, the marathon sale or anything like that? No, we don't do anything like that. Um, there are a lot of people that do, because it's Patriots Day as well. Right. Which is a, it's a, I believe it's just a New England holiday. Some people have Patriots Day sales. We didn't have one this year, but sometimes people do do that on the same day as a marathon. Yeah. Well, tell us, tell us a little bit about business conditions up in, in the area up there. How is 13 looking compared to 12? You know, 13 is looking pretty good. We're up a little bit. You know, residentially, we're seeing more foot traffic. It's not amazing, but there's definitely an uptick. And where we've seen it the most is in the higher end. We do a lot of wool out of uh, one of our stores in particular, and we've seen our wool and just higher end, you know, nylon in the problem business really kind of driving our growth for the for really all of 2012. And to start off this year as well, we're seeing the same thing. So we're definitely seeing the high end bounce back first and foremost, mm-hmm. more so than, you know, the middle market uh, around here. Okay. So. And what are some of the challenges you're facing this year? We were up pretty significant in 2012. Mm-hmm. So the biggest challenge is going to be to continue to grow and to get back to some stability and some decent levels. But we are definitely headed in the right direction. But certainly the biggest challenge is going to be, you know, some of the numbers we're up against from last year were very good. And to just continue to grow, find ways to increase business and just continue on the right path towards growth. Are you picking up more people? Have you expanded your head count? Yes, we have, actually. We had two people last year the end of last year as a result of business increasing. One last thing back to the NFA. I know the NFA is going to meet in Boston this fall. They meet twice a year. 
And I guess the hotel where they're staying this fall is right near where this happened, isn't it? Yeah, it, it is. It's, it's in a beautiful part of the city. It's the Back Bay. And the hotel is the Fairmont Copley Plaza, mm-hmm. which was, I don't know about the, I would say a few hundred yards from where the explosions were. Right. And so, yeah, it is, it's actually going to be right out front. And I'm, I'm certainly imagine by then, you know, things will be normalized, but who knows what, you know, they'll find of it and everything between then and now. But um, it's right in the same neighborhood. It's right when you walk outside of the hotel, it, you can you can see where the finish line is to the Boston Marathon. Yeah. Well, A.J., I appreciate you spending time with us again. been talking to A.J. Boyajian, an Armenian name, I think, and yep, you listen exactly. to Kemp Har and FloridaDaily.net.